Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on 10 Minute Tutorials Matter Overdrive Edition. And this is episode number four, and probably the final episode with all the fun stuff becoming a robot and creating some awesome weapons. So, without further ado, we're going to get started. First thing I want to talk about is this transporter. I didn't really know exactly where to. Um, put it in the series or in the you know tutorials or whatever because well it's not necessarily you know part of the robot thing and it's not necessarily part of power or whatever but it is a fun block that is offered through the mod and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it so we're going to go ahead and take this guy right there connect him up so he gets power we're going to connect this guy up so he gets some matter and we're going to go ahead and throw some in there and basically what it is is we're supplying this with both matter and with uh, power from our system which is working beautifully I might add it's all hooked up and going you see that the matter is back charged and it's just putting out power beautiful 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 and yes so we're filling up with power here we're filling up with matter here and basically all this is is it just puts you into specific locations so if I say I want to go ahead and configure one and I happen to know the location where I want to go which is on top of the solar panels that we built and so I just set it like this and then I jump on top you can see little whirly marks over there to tell me where I'm gonna go and then boom I'm here this little guy could be absolutely awesome for like inside your house not only is it like an elevator system but I mean you you can go up down left or right but you can also you know go off in the wings of the house and you can make a few of these and to be honest they're really not that expensive uh, some glowstone some titanium plates uh, it's gonna take you a couple pieces of gold with your uh, mark threes these guys, I mean, yeah, an eye, an eye of Ender, not really all that big of a deal, and an Ender Pearl, these, it's, it's not expensive. You can make a couple of these pretty quickly, pretty easily. It'd be time intensive because you have to make all the subcomponents, but you can make a couple of these, have them all over your house, and that would just be pretty darn awesome. But that's enough with that. We are going to move on to the fun stuff today, which is our weapons. And so we've got a weapon station here. We have our Android station. And then I'm going to set this guy off in the distance real quick. This right here is our star map, and it just looks really, really cool. This right here, it makes me think that there is more to come in the mod, but it's just not here yet. Um, because I can't quite figure out, I mean, I have played with the stuff uh, over and over and over again, and I can't figure out, like, if it's supposed to be able to send me somewhere, um, if I can go to other solar systems or anything like that. There's like a little drone there. But I can't really collect, you know, select anything. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. This one I've been working on. I've been trying to find information on. I can only play with it so much. So I'm not really sure um, what exactly is going on with it. I don't, I, I remember trying to do this with one. Okay, this does get power. Okay. Um, so now it has 512 power. Like I said, I've been playing with it and trying new stuff. Uh, measure symptom one I mean I don't know I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing um, I, I nothing nothing seems really clickable so I'm sure there's more to come uh, just like with this teleport over here you've got a transport to, uh, flash drive which you you know you click on the ground it sucks the location you should be able to just walk over here and put it in there and go new and then it should um, you know be able to teleport me but the problem is it doesn't um, and so I'm thinking that's just you know something to come but this one will still send me over there and so you can put in a whole bunch of locations and yeah it'll send you around so that's that next is the holographic sign I think this guy's pretty cool type of message holographic sign hello out there and then just close it and you've got a holographic sign just kind of floats off the thing really really cool and then finally we've got the charging station right here which I'm just gonna plop right there because this does mean no good but I want it to charge up right now until I become a robot and that's what we're gonna be doing next we are gonna be coming in robot because if I click on the oops if I click on this Android station right here you see matter of drive biological entity detected access denied it will not let me access this right here and that is because I am human I am NOT a robot so there's two different ways, let me clear all this stuff out, that we can become a robot in Matter Overdrive. The simplest way is you can actually just create this little pill right here, which is really simple. It's just one head, two arms, a torso, and two legs. Really, really simple. Or we can get a mad scientist in a village 
and meet up with him with the same parts. And I believe, actually, come on, give me the egg. What's going on? All right, guys, I had to take a little pause right there, <clears throat> fix something. But as you can see, I've given myself the red pill, the blue pill, and the green pill. Or sorry, yellow pill. What these all do is, um, now, the reason I'm doing it this way is because once you've already transitioned with the mad scientist, apparently, you can't do it with the mad scientist again. And they're running around here somewhere. I, I had done it earlier, and now I couldn't do it again, so I have to do it with the pill. But I'm going to go ahead and switch back into survival mode so you can kind of watch this all happen. But anyways, basically, we just take the red pill, go num num num, and here we go. We are now becoming a robot. And as you can see, I cannot access the thing still. It says biological entity detected, access denied. But as I slowly become a human, oh, and by the way, make sure your inventory is empty and maybe be close to your bed because this is going to kill you at the end of it and then you will be a robot when you wake up. Pretty, pretty nifty. And then uh, these pills right here, the blue pill will remove all the robotic effects if you ever want to for whatever reason. And then the yellow pill will remove any of the de the buffs that you put on yourself and you can always uh, add more later on. And we'll go over that in just a second. So what do we got here? Ooh. That's num, 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 num. You know, I've never actually done that before. Cannibal. Earn the achievement. Cool. Uh, that thing that's part of evil craft. All right. So we got our red pill and our blue pill back. Or yellow pill and blue pill back. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the upgrades. So as you can see, I've already got a couple upgrades put on myself uh, because I was a robot earlier. Once you're a robot, you can put the android arms, torsos, and legs on yourself. And you can kind of see my character. He's got a little bit of on him. Um, not still kind of glitchy the it kind of goes over your regular skin so depending on the angle you're looking uh sometimes it will look like it's on it sometimes it won't but it's cool you know it's a work in progress and then also i've got this uh <coughs> titanium spine and it gives you a glitch time of 50 percent and then max health it gives me two more hearts and these are all things uh the spine i believe is a uh like a, a found in chest item and yeah so, anyways, moving on. We can upgrade ourselves depending on how much XP we have. We can make ourselves, you know, improve. So we got the Ender Teleporter over here for 48 XP. Uh, allows for short teleports by hitting the numpad. And the ones we can do right now, airbags, enables floating when in water. Uh, limb overclocking increases movement speed. We can do that one real quick. So now it says my movement speed is up to 110. So that's pretty nifty. If you can see the up the upper left hand corner there, my health is at 130% and my battery is at 100%. I can always add um, more of a battery like this. Oops. And now this will keep this charge. Oh, you know what? I should probably put a uncharged one in, not a charged one, so you can see that. <clears throat> not thinking about what I'm doing here. So I'm going to grab an uncharged battery. And I'm going to throw that in my spot here. And as you can see, it, the battery is now charging up slowly. And that's because I'm in range of this charging station. But as I walk away, if I get further than eight blocks away, I will no longer charge. You can see I'm stuck at 13. But if I get closer again, it'll start going up again. This is how you keep yourself charged for some of the other mods that you can do later. I'm going to let you experience those mods on your own. Just kind of test them out and play with them. If you got one that you don't like, Oh, look at that. I can do another one. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have enough XP. Um, I have to increase my XP, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm going to let you play with those on your own. Uh, there's no need for me to really show you them all. They all kind of, they're self-explanatory. Um, Space-time equalizer, it says, you know, the gravitational anomaly, you can just basically walk up to it without any issues. Um, some of them are kind of hard to see because they cut off on the screen. Flash cooling gives 20% change to instantly cool a weapon down, which we're going to get into right now, which is weapons. So I'm going to grab all the weapons that are available. No, you know what? I'm not going to grab all the weapons. I'm going to grab two. I'm going to grab a phaser, and I'm thinking the ion sniper because that one's really cool. And I'm going to grab a scope just for upgrade purposes. And we go to the weapon station, and this is where we do the weapons. So basically the weapons are relatively simple, except you're going to need those uh, Mark IV isolinear circuits we use in the emeralds. But it's just one of those with iron, a couple of these plasma cores with the receiver and the handle, and then a battery. 
And all the, the recipes are pretty simple. Black wool, titanium, and iron. Like, they're not difficult to make. I mean, these are a little more, but, I mean, really, it's not much. It's just little component within bigger components. But, like, you see, you get four of these. It's not too bad. It's really, really not. And then these are the upgrades right here. So these are some of the upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and take our phaser to start. And this is a very much a throwback to any type of uh, Star Trek fans. Um, the phaser. So there's a couple things you can do. You've got color modules here that you can uh, change the color of whatever you're using. So I can throw a red one on there and it's make the phaser red. Or I can throw uh, like light blue or yellow or whatever I want. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go green. I like the green, right? Then the other things you can add is I need to add a battery pack. So I throw a battery pack on it like that. And then you've also got these other options right here where you can increase damage using a dilithium focusing matrix. Did I grab it? Yes, I did. Or, oh, you know what? I like purple. Never mind. Purple. Or I guess it's kind of pink. Yeah, I'm going back to green. Not that green. There we go. Um, then you've also got an incendiary filter. You've got the burst inductive drum, and then you've got the regenerative converter. And some of these work, some of them don't on all of them, or some of them. This one right here basically just increases damage, but it decreases the effect and um, ammo. Some, I don't know, yes, this one does. This one adds fire damage. This one uh, gives explosive damage, but it reduces ammo way down, so it's basically way more expensive to use. And fire rate is way reduced. And then this one can heal. Interesting. So if we go ahead and switch ourselves into, you know what, let me go ahead and upgrade um, the sniper as well while we're at it. Put him in there. So I can throw a scope on him. And then it's, it's basically the same thing as the, all the weapons pretty much upgrade in the same fashion. Um, there we go, put you in there. Um, pink no we'll make the we'll make the ion can, uh, sniper rifle blue there we go that looks pretty nifty and then we can put an incendiary filter on it which is going to add fire damage and we're all set and then these contracts i'm not 100 percent sure what this slot does um security protocol maybe new no. i've yet to find what actually goes on there i've tried I don't know what these are. I found them in the real world and stuff like that. I haven't found what can go in that slot yet. And I'm actually, I'm just kind of staring at it now because it frustrates me every time I look at it. I can't quite figure it out. But there's something else that goes in this slot. Like I said, there's there's a lot of things that are still, oh, I love the how it displays on there. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, make me consider this a work in progress kind of mod. But, you know. It's cool. I mean, that's what makes it fun. So I'm going to test out on one of the baddest mamma jammas. Um, not, well, I shouldn't say baddest mamma jamma. They're just, they're pretty strong, so they're a good test for some of these weapons. So we've got an iron golem, right? And as I walk up, you can see my display. Now I now have a HUD because I'm a robot, and it says he has 100 health, and he's an iron golem. Let's check out our sniper rifle here and light him on fire. And let's see how much damage it did. With damage, I mean, that's 20 per. It would take five shots. Oh, I'm overheated. Oh, there we go, and he's down. So, I mean, that looks like it's pretty lethal. Oh, yeah, it just breaks those guys, like, right down. Um, let me try the, the phaser out here. So, whoa, someone's hit me. I know you can switch settings. Ah! Get up here. Ooh. Get up on top of something. Slammies everywhere. Yes, I know the. F oh, yeah, that'll work. 
take this guy over on top of the... Oh, he knocked me off. You're annoying. Because this is like stun mode. And I know... Oh, there's a TARDIS on that guy. Oh, there we go. As you can see, the level of lethality goes up. Um, if you see, like, on the top of the gun, it's, like, light green. And that's kind of like a stun, I believe. Or maybe it's just a healer. Like, that's all this does. Because the Iron Golem doesn't seem to be... Oh, no, he's upset now. Wait, what are you at? 76. Oh, he got me. Well, yes, that's the phaser. That's the upgraded weapons. I'm just playing around right now, guys. Uh, you basically got a good view of it all. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on YouTube. And I will definitely get back to you. I have played with these pretty extensively. And I think the phaser is actually one of the few that I had. So that was kind of a stupid choice for uh, one of the weapons I wanted to upgrade. But at the same time, it was, you know, it's fun. And stay away, stay away, stay away. Let me warp. There we go. Now I'm up in a safe place. So I hope you guys had a good one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope these were useful because this mod is actually pretty darn fun. And I, like I said, I think there's a lot to come. Um, it's just not here yet, but it looks like it's all in development. Anyways, I'm Sutter Havoc, and this was 10-Minute Tutorials, even though it went way longer than 10 minutes today. And we're out of here. Peace.